Hi, this is Alessio Rastani leading Cheddar. Hope you're well. In this video, we're going to take a look at something quite interesting and I think very fascinating as well, which is whether there is a link between Bitcoin and the stock market. In fact, can we actually predict the next crash in the stock market by looking at what Bitcoin is doing? There are some research which suggests this might actually be the case. Now, before I talk about that, actually, I do want to mention a couple of things first. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is you probably heard this morning that uh, Stephen Hawking, one of my heroes and a person I've really admired ever since my uh, early 20s, uh, has died, in fact, passed away this morning at the age of 76. And I think it's important to mention this because he is a guy that actually had an important impact on me personally ever since I read his fantastic book, uh, Brief History of Time. You might have read it yourself. I read this back in 1991, a few years after he published it. And I can tell you it's the one book that had the greatest impact uh, on me, uh, both professionally and also uh, philosophically, and I would say spiritually as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a video, a separate video, purely on Stephen Hawking's theory and also explain a little bit more about his ideas, which I think are worth certainly just going over. The second thing I want to mention here is that this is actually my last video for this month. And that's because for the next few weeks, the next three weeks, I'll be away on vacation. And what I'm actually doing is flying from London to Dubai, stay there for a few days. And then from Dubai, I'm going to one of the most amazing places in the world. And that is Persepolis in Persia or Iran. Now, if you're not familiar with Persepolis, now I've heard millions of tourists go there every year. And essentially, it is the seat of the Persian Empire. It is the place essentially where the Persian Empire blossomed. Now, uh, about 2,500 years ago, uh, the only empire, the superpowers of the world were the Roman Empire and there was the Persian Empire. Now, as a student of history myself, and of course, if you love history, then this is the place you really want to go and see. And essentially, this is the place where you had uh, the great Persian kings like Xerxes, Cyrus the Great, and Darius. And if you've seen the movie 300, which by the way, is one of my favorite films. A lot of people don't like 300 because they say it's historical historically inaccurate, but I don't really care about that. It's a great story. And in that movie, there's this character who, of course, is the Emperor Xerxes. And as you can see, is surrounded by these symbols. And these are the symbols that essentially are in Persepolis, as I've just mentioned here. They're all here. And uh, by the way, famously about uh, in 330 BC, Alexander the Great, uh, when Alexander the Great conquered Persia, he set fire to this entire region. And uh, apparently there is the story is he regretted actually having done that because he himself was a great admirer of Darius and Xerxes and uh, Cyrus. Anyway, when I go there, I'll try and make some videos and uh, send it out to you as well. All right, guys, let's take a look at Bitcoin here in the stock market. Now, there was an interesting and fascinating article in the Wall Street Journal. Now, normally I would dismiss uh, theories about a connection between Bitcoin and the stock market. But when I noticed the Wall Street Journal is talking about it, which of course is a reputable journal, I started looking into it and I thought, OK, well, uh, let's see what this is about. And um, as the article here says, when will stocks tumble again? Investors look to Bitcoin for answers, which is um, quite interesting. And uh, it says over here, investors are latching onto Bitcoin as a new indicator for determining whether the stock market is heading for another downturn, which is quite interesting. So a lot of the volatility, so the volatility in Bitcoin seems to have some connection to what happens to the stock market. Personally, I mean, I've looked at the charts and I've looked at this supposed connection. And what they're actually saying is, if you take a look at this chart over here, for example, right, so you see this is Bitcoin. This is where Bitcoin topped the most recent top anywhere there back in December, which of course occurred about a month before the stock market made that top there. And you can see what they're saying is that as Bitcoin dropped, that actually might be kind of a leading indicator for the volatility and the drop in the stock market. Uh, and you can see they've sort of like, you know, bounced similarly in tandem. Now, again, I've looked at these two markets combined to see if there is a correlation or was that just a coincidence? Um, I got to be honest here. I mean, I can't I can't see this correlation happening here. I mean, for example, here you would say the stock market fell before Bitcoin fell, uh, although you could argue, well, hang on a second here. The Bitcoin here fell before the stock market fell. Again, I think there's more. There needs to be more thought into this. OK, so here's another one for you. 2017 potentially you want to look at there. Uh, all right. So this was obviously the Brexit, the Brexit crash. Now. This was the Brexit crash here, came after the major drop in Bitcoin. So it seems the Bitcoin drop occurred, the more vol the volatile drop occurred before the volatile drop in the S&P, the stock market. So that's, there might be something into this. I'm not dismissing it, but 
Um, I have to say that I'm going to look into a bit more detail. One thing I will say, though, is that from a technical perspective, both Bitcoin and the stock market do actually respect technical levels really well. For example, take a look at here. This is Bitcoin. And you will see that Bitcoin respected. It dropped to the 200 moving average right there on the chart. You can see it held it and bounced from it. The same thing occurred with the stock markets. Take a look over here. There you go. So the stock market also volatile drop down to the 200 moving average, held this level, nicely bounced from it. Okay, so you do see these patterns repeat themselves across many markets. And by the way, people who say, oh, you cannot compare Bitcoin to the stock market, like it's somehow it's sacrilege to compare what's going on with the stock market to Bitcoin is absolute nonsense. Because what those folks seem to maybe forget is that both Bitcoin and the stock market, at the end of the day, the driving force behind the price of Bitcoin and the stock markets are human beings. Humans make a market and all human beings have one thing in common, or I should say two things in common, which is fear and greed. So let's not forget that human psychology is pretty much the same everywhere. All right, guys, hope this video has helped and I look forward to seeing you guys in about three weeks time at the start of April. And in the meantime, I want to wish you a fantastic week and a great month. Thanks a lot.